Hungary was always trying to establish its own firearms industry, and this was especially important after the First World War, when all the surrounding countries were hostile. And the basic aim of the Hungarian foreign policy was to reverse the unfair peace treaties closing the Great War. One of the most important ventures to supply firearms to the Hungarian government was the FEG, or Fémáru Fegyveris Gépgyár, a company located on the Pest side of the Danube in Budapest. Rudolf Frommer, the iconic firearms designer of this region, was working for this company. But uh, he did not start his career as a firearms designer, but he was a financial officer and later the CEO of this factory. But as a hobby, he kept on patenting excellent self-loading pistol designs like the Frommer Stop, the Frommer Baby, the Frommer Lilliput, the 29M, and later the 37M. The story of the 37M service pistol started with a small vest pocket pistol called the Frommer Lilliput. This little gem was designed in 1920 and it fired a 6.35 caliber cartridge and this was only meant to be the last line of defense. The bigger brother, the 29M, was a, a real service pistol. It fired a 9mm Browning short cartridge, but it was too complicated and too expensive for uh, the army, so there was a need for redesigning the pistol. Rudolf Frommer started to redesign the pistol in 1930, but he retired in 1935 and died in 1936. But the pistol was already ready for service, so in 1937 the army accepted the new pistol. It was firing a 9mm Browning short cartridge, or the 380 ACP. The mass production of the pistol started immediately. This new pistol was easier to disassemble, it uh, contained less parts, it was cheaper and faster to produce, so it was excellent for the army. About 250,000 were produced for the Hungarian army, and an additional 90,000 was manufactured for the German army, for the Luftwaffe especially, in 32 ACP caliber, with an additional manual safety on the left side of the slide. Most of the parts of the two models are interchangeable, including the magazine, slide and frame. The Luftwaffe version's manual safety allows to have the pistol in the holster cocked and locked. It is easy to demonstrate the interchangeability just by replacing the barrels. Both pistols will function well with the other caliber bore. This little procedure proves also how easy it is to field strip the 37M. The main disadvantage of its predecessor, the 29M, was the much more complicated design. The soldier needed a separate tool for disassembly, and the bolt could be removed from the slide. The bolt of the 37M is integrated into the slide. Now the bores are changed, and the pistol will still function well. So the 380 caliber 37M pistol became the standard issue sidearm for the officers during the Second World War in the Hungarian army. But let's take a closer look to this little gem now. One little disadvantage of this pistol is that the magazine catch is located on the bottom of the grip, like on the Walter P38. This forces the soldier to use both hands to release the empty magazine, which definitely slows down the reloading process. The magazine itself holds seven rounds, plus you can have one in the chamber also. The 37M is accurate, but you have to have a very good trigger control and a very good hold to get a tight group. 
The grip is quite comfortable, but I'm not really happy with the hold because uh, the angle of the grip is too close, too close to 90 degrees. So it always feels like the, the barrel wants to drop down. The greatest disadvantage of this pistol are the sights. The V-notch in the rear sight is so tiny that it is very hard to make a good sight picture during fast firing or in poor light conditions. The front sight is dovetailed, so it is adjustable horizontally, and the upper side of the slide is striated to prevent sunlight glance. Let's check some 25 meter single-handed shooting, like the officer traditions. It's clear that the axis of the barrel is above the axis of the arm, so you can predict that the upward movement of the barrel during the recoil is significant. But in fact, the 9mm Browning short cartridge is controllable. It's, a, it's not a strong cartridge, so the angle of the grip is not such a great problem after all. The 9mm Browning short is considered a weak pistol cartridge today. Its muzzle energy is not more than 300 joules, while a standard 9mm looked around is between 400 and 500. Another several rounds. The Frommer 37M marks the end of an era in the Hungarian firearms industry. This pistol was the last individual pistol design of the 20th century. After the end of the Second World War, all the factories started to copy Soviet weapons instead of own designs. This pistol is light and slim, and I think it would still make a good self-defense gun in a bit stronger caliber and with better sights. Thanks for watching. You've been watching the Cap and Bull YouTube channel, and if you like what I do, then please hit the subscribe button.